All right, I've got a uh, 1999 Ford F-250, 7.3 diesel. Uh, the truck's got about approximately 150,000 miles. Customer brought it in and uh, he's complaining of diesel fuel and his overflow. You can see the overflow here. And uh, the problem with that is the injector sits in a brass sleeve or a cup and these cups crack and the diesel fuel is under high pressure and the pressure actually comes through the cup and goes into the overflow. And if left unrepaired, it will actually, diesel fuel will come from the overflow and all your upper and lower radiator hoses and your heater hoses will swell. And uh, of course the hose will break and you'll lose all your coolant. All right, the first step you wanna do is uh, drain the radiator. As you can see in the picture here, the diesel fuel actually will sit on top of the antifreeze, real milky, greasy looking. And um, that's the first step. The second step, of course, I've got the intercooler tube off. I've disconnected the electrical connector and removed the valve cover. Now here you can see the individual injectors. Now before you take this injector out, there's actually two oil gallery plugs here and back here. You've got to take those out, let the oil drain out of the gallery, because if you don't do that and you take the injector out, all the oil will go down into the cylinder and it could cause serious engine damage if you don't take the plug out. After you get the drain plugs removed from the head, the, the next step, you've got one injector hold down bolt that's got to be removed and the injector oil spout. It's behind the injector. You need to get this out to access the bolt. Okay, the next step, after I've got the injector uh, drain cup off and the hold down bolt, is to remove the injector. And I use just a uh, curved pry bar and I get under this metal part of the injector and give it just a small tap and it'll come up. And you just force this forward. It takes just a little bit of prying. Okay. The part you want to pry under is this actual metal part here. Stay away from the solenoid part because this will break. So just a gentle pry right under that area right there. Okay, here's the actual driver we've invented. This is actually going to go down into the sleeve. The threads are going to bite into the actual injector cup. And we're going to take a wrench and tighten this nut and it's going to pull the sleeve out of the head. Without this tool, there's limited clearance under there, and uh, the actual service manual says to remove both heads, and that's a very long, labor-intensive job. But with the driver, we can do this all eight cups in the vehicle. Then I've done a few, so I can actually get this whole job done in about four hours' time. Okay, we've got the injector out, as you can see the sleeve in the bore, in the bore there. And I'm going to use the sleeve puller. I'm going to place it in the bore, like so. Now, I'm going to take and actually turn the top bolt several revolutions till it gets tight. And what that does, the, the tap is actually eating into the brass sleeve. So I'm going to do that now. You've got to move things out of your way, it's a little snug. Now what I want to do is turn this until it gets extremely tight. Probably five to six revolutions. Okay, I've run the uh, nut down the thread onto the sleeve here. Now I take a wrench and you're turning clockwise. It may take three, four revolutions. Keep turning this nut until all the pressure is released. And if you've done everything correctly, the sleeve should come out with the tool. Okay, it loosened. And there's the actual cup onto the threads.
Okay, now we've removed the sleeve from the head. Now to remove the sleeve from the tool, I'll just take and lock the lower part into a vise. Take your socket and your ratchet and just back the tool out of the sleeve until the tool is free. Okay, after we've got the sleeve removed from the injector driver, the puller, these sleeves need Loctite put on this area here and this area here. That actually seals in the head. So what I do, I put the cup onto the driver and I use red Loctite. Just put some on this sealing area in this area and just rub it around the edge with your finger. And now it's ready to go back into the cylinder head. Okay, here we are with the cup onto the driver. And I'm dropping it back down in the hole, just simple like that. And all I do from there is to just light taps. When it bottoms out, it'll make a really hard metallic sound. Like that. And your new sleeves in. The reason we've invented this tool, as you can see the limited access, the service procedure up until now was to use this slide hammer with a tap on the end of it. As you can see, that would work on the first two, but on the rear two, there's no room for the slide hammer or no other tool to get back there and actually remove the cup. So with the old method, without pulling the head, the best you can do is the front two cups on each side. But with the driver we've got, you can do all eight, and all you have to remove is the tubes and the valve covers.